Alright guys, welcome back to Time Watch UPS Use. This is a budget MSI laptop which we picked up for 320 euros. And the question is, can you game on a 320 euros laptop? Well, in short, yes, but let's get into the video. <laughs> Now the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the fire strike score, right? Now this laptop has a GTX 960M and an i7 6700HQ. Now as you can see, um, we hit a nice 5000 5, on the graphics. Now this means that pretty much 1080p on let's say low or a blend of low and medium will play absolutely fine. Now let's get for a sec into what I did to get this score and what you can generally do um, you know, to improve the performance on your gaming laptop and then we can test some games. Now the first thing that you should do is quite simply refurbish the laptop. Now I have a video right here about that but once you've done that, you know, um, if your laptop has a decent CPU which is like an i5, i7, I'm not talking about the Ryzen CPUs because they're pretty new so you're not gonna find a used Ryzen laptop um, it means that on the CPU side, you're good. Now, the hard disk doesn't really matter for gaming. It does matter for the overall experience, but not for gaming. At this point, we might want to take a look at the RAM, but as long as it, is, as it has 8 GB of RAM, it's good. So now, the point is the GPU, all right? Now, the lowest I'd go to game is probably a GTX 780M, all right? And the older you go in laptops, not only you lose performance, but you also like lose how well the card stacks up to, to their desktop counterparts. So, for example, the GTX 960M is way, way worse of a card than a GTX 960. On the other side, a GTX 1060 for laptops is not that far off from a 1060. So there's that. Now. Um, you could also get a laptop with a GTX 950. Now that's gonna probably be decent if you want to game on low and you know easy games. But with a 960 here, you can probably play like you can play whatever. But this is now, and now what did we do? We basically overclocked the card to the max that we could, and we also you know replaced the laptop. As I told you, the refurbished part. But then, you know, there is a performance tuning in general, which is another video which I made, is like how to optimize performance in pretty much every computer, so you might want to check that one out. And then we undervolted the CPU. Now that gives you more battery life and less thermals. Now, thermals are important also because if you get better thermals on your CPU, uh, since the cooling system in, your, in the laptop is gonna be the same, you know, uh, you're gonna get more performance on the GPU and so better performance in game. Now here, this is an i7 6700HQ. We got a minus 125 millivolt, which is good. You know, average on this CPU. If you want to know how to undervolt stuff, again, I have a tutorial. Now, um, when it comes to overclocking, it's basically the same as in desktop, uh, with the difference that you can't really adjust the voltage. All right, so you just want to overclock your graphics a little bit, uh, under your CPU and you're gonna be set. Now let's get into some games. Now let's just take a quick look at the overclock which I got on this 960M. Well, as you can see, we maxed the slider on the core clock and then we got a hefty 500 megahertz on the memory clock. Now generally you can pretty much always max your core clocks on those laptops, GPUs, and you can also BIOS mod them if you want to go a little bit further on the core clock, but you know, to get that extra 5%, I mean, I would personally do it, but I have some problems. It's not really worth it most times. And you could, you can only buy a mod on GTX 9 and lower series card. So if you have like a 10 or 16 or 20 series card, you can't. So this is basically it. And let's get into the games for real. All right, guys, now here we are with the actual gaming benchmarks. Now I will be playing Apex Legends on controller. This is because my internet kind of sucks right now, um, so you know, um, I couldn't like download my whole Steam library. And this is a pretty popular game, and I believe that it's a pretty nice representation because, like, if it runs Apex, uh, it will run Fortnite better. 
uh, than Apex and it will even run Warzone just a little bit worse. So, you know. And also I play this game, so yeah. Now, uh, I'm gonna be using MSI Afterburner to benchmark it and I don't currently have a capture card so you will be seeing uh, the actual footage. So now I will just um, move the camera a little bit closer and then in the end I will show you like the 1% lows and everything since I have them right here and I will just start my benchmark. So now let's just hop into the game. Uh, by the way, my graphic settings, here they are. I'm running at 1080p and I have like competitive settings, like this is what I would actually use to game. So I have like my, you know, field of view to 100 and then I have pretty much everything on low, except for like the budget texture, which is not on the minimum. And then I have two X anti-zotropic filter. Now the graphics uh, looks pretty nice, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, so yeah, let's just hop into the game and see how it goes. Now, you, since the screen is this small, you can also like scale down the resolution without many problems, to be honest. You can just, you know, play at 1600 by 900, yeah. And that's gonna be, you know, the image quality is gonna be great anyway, so no big deal. Uh, yeah, well, I hopped into a trio game and we have two playing, but no worries. Um, now, of course, while we are landing, the FPS is gonna be uh, way lower, but that's normal and you don't really need like more than 30 FPS while landing in my opinion since there's not really that much of fine tuning that you have to do. I even if you play competitively now I'm I'm talking like for every battle royale games because I like actually play Apex. So you know. Um, Alright. And yeah my gameplay is gonna suck because I have to stay like super away from the camera because you know you don't have a capture card, so yeah. I'm tr gonna try and move it a little bit closer. All right, this should be the max that I can do. Okay. Now, my friend here is the jump master. And I will also try to fight a little bit, but anyway, while landing, we are at around 34 FPS, 35, and like moving around with a controller, it's super smooth. Now it's ramping up to around 40, so that's great. Uh, now I will start my benchmark as soon as I land, um, because, you know, while landing again, not really a nice representation. All right, let me just start the benchmark. All right, we started it. Uh, now playing it, as you can see, I'm flicking my visual, and it's like really good. And also, like, I can see enemies real, real well. Like, I, I did a couple games before to test it before recording it. And well, quite simply, it was playing great. Uh, you know, like I, I was actually like close to the screen, etc. Now, one use case which I could definitely see for you know budget laptops like this, if you can get a nice deal on the used market, uh, is to you know quite simply, you are coming from console, you just get one of these laptops, and then you you know just uh, switch over to the laptop, and maybe you hook it up to the screen that you used for your PS4. And so you're getting like smoother FPS and you can play on PC, which is like generally better. All right, now let's get into a fight and let's see how it goes. Yeah, FPS is still locked at around 60, going down to 55 on average right now. So before the fight, our 1% low um, is 42. Our average FPS is 58 and our point 0.1 is 33. So now as long as our point 0.1 is over 30, it means that like it's very playable. Okay, our friend is dying. Let me go and help me out. Okay, now let's see how it goes into you know during the fight. And the one percent low stayed like that. Uh, but then again, this wasn't really a fight. It was just a random guy popping out there. So I don't know if it counts. I could like try and get to the end game to see how it plays in the end game, but it's not really like Fortnite where like you have a ton of buildings and stuff, you just have more people. And also let me know if you'd like me to do this kind of live gameplays or if you would prefer like as I do like most people do, so you just record the footage and then comment on it real quick. Um, I personally don't mind um, either of them, but I kind of like to do the real time thing. Now 
Now this was a decent fight and still battery smooth, no stuttering and my 1% lows are still at 45, so that's good. Alright guys, and that was it, 43 FPS minimum, uh, 55 FPS average, 40, F per, 40 FPS 1% low, sorry, 33 was the point 1% low. Um, we also got like, in a pretty like, intense fight at the end, um, and I mean, the experience was simply, you know, good. Like, I can see myself playing on this thing, to be honest, like, Especially if I was on vacation, you can just bring over a controller or just hook it up to an external monitor, mouse and keyboard, and it just plays smooth. And I mean, that's all you need. Uh, on competitive settings too, so we have our field of view to the max, like to 100, and uh, not the max, um, but I mean, what I would use to play normally. And yeah, I mean, I actually play this game even in rank, so, you know, if it stuttered, like I would have told you, because I kind of feel it, you know. But 320 bucks for this kind of experience, simply great, guys. So yeah, this is pretty much the conclusion um, for this gaming laptop. Uh, of course, like the overall Windows experience is great because we have like an i7 6700HQ. Like you, you, you can do browsing, etc. We have an SSD, so it boots up like that. And so yeah, you can play with it. You can play well, you can play competitively, um, and overall, you know, if you need to game um, on the go and to be able to come come home, plug it in a external monitor and play it there, you can do that. So again, use the laptops with some tuning, of course, some overclocking, that's needed, um, some undervolting too. Uh, it's simply, you know, great. Our temps too, they were like in the 70s, that's great. Um, so yeah. Should you buy a used laptop, especially one from like um, a gaming brand, which is like used, but with an overclockable card and a decent CPU, like an i5, i7, and I mean, just 8x of RAM, definitely for the right price, guys.